When Ruben Ayala III was born in Riverside on March 19, 1999, his doctors gave him three hours to live. 24 hours later, the prognosis became any... Obviously, you know, Ruben had to overcome a lot of medical, a lot of surgeries and procedures, so... He, he's not much of, he's a typical teenager. He likes to be around other kids and uh, his other athletes when he was playing ball. And so he was social that way, so we like to see that. The best way to do it is, is, is he, he can get everything done, he can do everything. He just has to do it his own way. Right, so it may not be what you and I think of the typical way of getting something done, but he gets it done his own way. You know, the end product is still going to be a finished product with his spin on it. So of course the challenge is just like with hitting a baseball. He has some limited mobility in his neck, so we had to adapt his stance for being able to see the ball better. All of the things that, that maybe for people come a little more naturally or easily, he had to overcome so much more just to get on an equal playing field. So right. those challenges were daily in every simple task. Not um, allowing him or them to stop and give up just to continue on um, as far as if they're whatever they're trying to accomplish, um, sports, school, whatever, daily activities, just to continue and push on and, and treat them as a regular household member, not anything special, because I think that was some of his best therapy where his sisters treated him like any other sibling and roughhoused him and things of that sort that something maybe we wouldn't do or we would be a little bit more cautious on. And they, they just went to town and had fun with him. Just the overall experience, it really opened him up socially, right? Uh, acceptance from, he had teammates that accepted him. Little Ruby, man, he, he sure got to where he needed to go and um, just left, a, left an impression that he's willing to hustle and do whatever you're willing to ask. So that was the first time I got to meet Ruben was at the tryouts where he was out there trying to show us what he had. That moment of, uh, was more moment for him, I think, than us. I think for him saying, wow, you know, there are people who uh, believe that I can do this and accept me for, for you know, exactly the, who I am. So I think it was more of a moment for him. I mean, we were able to experience that, of course, and, and, and witness that, but I don't know that that was between him and I. I think that was more of letting him go with the team and trusting that that program could handle that and, and take care of him, and, and they did. And, uh, and I think that moment was more for him. I think it's a great moment, but I don't know if there's one particular moment. It's just a, that four-year experience of high school baseball that just you know, turn him into a man, like like most of us that went through high school programs uh, or uh, athletic programs. I mean, that's really what it did, you mm -hmm. know, for a lot of us. Um, well, I know at this current time, he he would like to be a writer, sports, and also hip hop, music. He's a he's an avid writer, and uh, li loves music of all sorts, but especially hip hop. And so I think that's something that um, he would like to do is is become a a journal journalist. And, and so I think that, you know, we bought him a computer, you know, laptop, so he can start putting together. He's done some writing recently for UCR Baseball um, that they're going to have up on their website. He covered their golf tournament, got to interview some guys and put together a piece for that. So we're just trying to get his feet wet, get him out there. I told him, you know, start writing stuff. He has mountains of journals since he's been writing since the time he could write. Mm -hmm. he's re I mean, he'll write on any sporting event he could watch. When most kids were little and they were watching Barney or, you know, Mickey Mouse, he was watching baseball and football, mm -hmm. you know, for hours on it. We're very proud of you for everything that you've accomplished and all the struggles, all the surgeries you've had to go through and that you have uh, overcome. Um, I think one of my moments I had is um, when the coaches are telling, telling us that you are they would wish they had all the kids similar to you because you're one of the um, hardest working kids out there and um, always never giving up. It's funny because he wear, you wear hearing aids and some of your teammates probably will never know that you wear hearing aids because you never wear them out in the field. How you can hear what's going on or what, what the coaches are telling you to do, 
it's pretty amazing and I, I think that, that you're an amazing person. Ruben is an inspiration to his teammates, to his classmates, and because of his grit and determination, he continues to touch the lives of all that he comes into contact with. Ruben is proof that hard work and dedication are the keys to success.